Yeah, what's really good, my people? Y'all know who it is. Y'all know what it is. Let's get into this, man. So, last night, they released the phone call of Tory Lanez after he was arrested initially. Um, he called Chelsea, which is Megan Thee Stallion's best friend, who also took the stand and pled the fifth during the trial. And, he, you know, I must say, my stance the whole time was that I believe Tory Lanez didn't do it. I thought that, you know, the story was, a, you know, it was, it was really mixy. It was really, you know, it was unclear what happened. I thought it was, you know, maybe some some uh, woman scorn, scorn vibes in it with Megan, you know, being upset that Tory was trying to, you know, uh, step out on her or, or, you know, basically replace her or, or better deal her with Kylie Jenner. And that still might be the case, but if you hear this phone conversation, I'm gonna tell you right now, man. Tory Lanez did that shit, man. and I gotta apologize. I mean, it was my opinion, it was, but I, but I feel now hearing that, hearing that phone call, hearing his tone, his energy, um, yeah, he did that shit, man. He shot, he shot Megan Thee Stallion. He was drunk. He says in the thing that he was drunk when he showed up to the party at Kylie's house. They immediately, you know, he immediately got handed five shots, which he took. He was finished. He was gone. Um, so he was pretty much, you know, just just in a drunk rage. And when that happened, he just acted like a, you know, like a lot of drunk people do. They can't hold their liquor. And he did something that he shouldn't have done. But like I said, man, you could just hear it all in his tone, all in his, you know, the way that he's, he's speaking to her, that he's apologizing to her, he's telling her that he's very sorry for all the shit that happened, he don't even know why he did that, like, you know, like, it's clear as day, he did that, he really did, and look, I'm gonna say this, he did it, but at the end of the day, Megan Thee Stallion only caught a bullet fragment in the toe, in the foot. Do I think that he should get 23 years, which is what the maximum penalty would be for him, you know, getting convicted on all charges? No, I don't think that's fair. I think that's excessive. I think that, you know, he deserves to do some jail time. Yes, it is what it is. But 20 years for that, I don't think that's right. And I hope that they don't do that to him. <coughs> but they could. <coughs> and like I said, when you make the state spend the money to put you through a trial, because it's not it's not it's not cheap for them to do that. When you make them spend the money to put you through a trial, and uh, you make the prosecutors do all the investigating and all the other shit, the judge has to sit there. And, trust me, they don't take kindly to it. That's why when you go to trial and you blow trial, they usually smoke your ass and give you. If not the maximum, very near the maximum um, penalty on what that charge holds. So, Tory Lanez could very well get the the maximum if they want to make an example of him, or they can give him near the maximum. Which, to me, I could I I I wouldn't be surprised if they gave him fifteen. You know what I'm saying, or, or something around there, twelve. You know, some some shit like that. Now, me thinking. And like I said, she was only hit by a bullet fragment in her foot. She was able to perform weeks later. It really hasn't affected her, you know, uh, phys she hasn't like physically had any ailments behind it. She doesn't have to fucking have a, have a permanent limp or nothing like that. Um, I think that it would be fair for him to get, you know, maybe, you know, four or five years. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and that seems to be a little bit, you know, it, it's a lot too, but... I think that would be on the fair side, you know, everybody wins here, the courts got their conviction, Megan got her justice, they got their time out of Tory, you know, and I even think Tory will win at the end too, because he'll be able to fucking appreciate all the things that he's amassed and, and, and you know, be able to move a lot more tact and, and smarter in the future. So, that's my take on it, you know, like I said, I was wrong, and hearing that, that, that uh, phone call it's pretty clear to me that he did that. You know, he did that. And um, it is what it is. 
So y'all check it out for yourselves. Y'all be blessed. Y'all stay good. And until the next time, peace.